All right. Oil pressure's good. Fuel pressure's good. Alternator's on, avionics on. Got to lean back here a little bit. All right. Well, this is about the fourth time now I've tried to make a video mainly because I'm having uh bring this down a little bit. You know, it's just a new environment in terms of getting cameras and audio and recording and all that set up and I've had some screw ups on audio mainly. I've, I'm now using a different camera also. So, uh, yeah, so I've done four or five taxi tests. Um, right after the engine start, we'll talk about that, there were some squawks that we had to go through. Uh, that being the, uh, the prop would not cycle. Of course, the first question everybody asks you is did you pull the plug off the end of the crank? when you installed the prop so that oil could get into the prop hub. And of course I said, yeah, of course I did that. I did that. I know I did that. I did it. Sure I did it. Hey, Rob. Yeah, what do you want? Hey, what? You got anything you want to admit? No. <laughs> oh, shit. So there you go. That's, uh... Yeah, I think we uh, we should be making oil pressure now. I guess we can the... move the garbage can. <laughs> <laughs> it's dry. It's pretty dry. <laughs> Put the prop back no, on thanks. with the cap off the crank. Went out. Still would not cycle. Took it up to 2,400 RPM. Still would not cycle. So I found out that this Dynon system, which a lot of stuff was downloaded and installed from Aerotronics for a six-cylinder engine, the Lycoming IO540, the one thing that was not adjusted was the TAC sensor. It was set for 1.0, which is for a four-cylinder engine. When I changed that to 1.5, I now got a better accurate reading on the tachometer. Then it was really registering exactly what it should have been registering, and... Um, then the prop cycled because I could get it up to about 1,800, 2,000 RPMs and the prop would cycle. So, little bugs to work out. Today what I want to do is, and like I said, I've done a few taxi tests. Yesterday I tried to calibrate the compass. And the mistake I was making was, see, I can use the GPS to calibrate the compass. I can, I can get it set on the GPS heading and then calibrate the compass. You go into settings on the Dynon. But what I was doing was, I would stop, turn 90 degrees, stop, turn 90 degrees, and what I found out this morning after talking to Jason over there at Aerotronics, that no, you don't stop and turn and spin, because it's a GPS reading, it needs to know your track. It doesn't know where your heading is just because your nose is pointing in a certain direction. So what we'll do today is we'll go ahead and taxi to 360 and let it slowly stop, and then we'll coordinate the or calibrate the compass then we'll we will taxi to 090 we'll taxi to 180 so that we get exactly on that heading i'm going to also try to seat the brakes a little more heat those up so that means just taxiing with the um, brakes on slightly or lightly with a little bit of power to kind of put some heat into the pad and the rotor to really uh get those seated in um, I've got these test cards also we've been using, and uh, so some of this is also for taxi testing, the, the uh, first uh, engine startup, fuel flow, uh, engine run and taxi test, stabilized engine readings. So all of this is really done uh, with the EAA test cards, and it's really ready for the first fight. I've ordered the, uh, I've requested the airworthiness inspection from the Charlotte FISDO. They're aware of it. I've got my paperwork in. I'm, I'm, no, I'm not hearing anything back from them in terms of a, a date. So I'm waiting on that. Hopefully soon. All right, we're going to do a little taxi here. This thing just taxis so smooth. Of course, you got to do a little S turning because the nose is a little high. Why am I wearing a helmet today? Just trying it out. Uh, I think a helmet is good in certain situations and on our first flight we'll probably use a helmet. 
I know that with all this tubed up here, I can potentially hit something, hit my head. So, you know, nice to have a helmet. All right, back to taxi, and I got these jets to get myself around here. It goes exactly where I want it to go. I've set my elevator, excuse me, I've set my rudder cables to 30 pounds. That seems to be about the right tension. Elevators are about 25. Those feel good as well. All right, so we're just gonna taxi on up here a little ways here. Run it up. I like to hear that prop cycle, it just makes me happy. Check the mags too. As I'm taxiing here, I'm watching the EGTs to make sure I haven't fouled any plugs. They're all pretty consistent. Slowly watching the CHTs come in. I've got two of them that are still under 300. The highest one right now is the number five, and it's at 353. A lot of people tell me, you know, your ground taxi and this thing, this engine's new. Well, it did get run for three hours on a test stand at Lycoming, and they ran it hard at 2,700, and the uh, cylinder head temperatures were over 400. So we, uh, my A and P, it doesn't feel like we're going to be hurting anything doing these uh, ground runs. All right, Rich. Eighteen forty, mag drop about a hundred, back up to eighteen fifty, left mag drops seventeen fifty. So we've got a hundred uh, spread of a one hundred here. So I'm gonna have to take it up to about two thousand to get that prop to cycle. Oil pressure drops. We need a little more power. There we go. Oil pressure drops, RPM drops, and I don't have any oil on the windscreen. Bring the power back. All right. All right, let me get this thing lined up on 360. There we go, right there. Go into settings. Hardware calibration. Data HARS. Compass. 360 without calibration. I'm going to hit north. So it's going to do a thing here, it's got a percent gauge telling me it's uh, calibrating itself. Once it hits 100, that light will turn to green. Power back a little bit. Okay, so now let's taxi up like a right turn here and we're going to get a 090 on the compass calibration. Oh, this thing turns so nice. A little tricky because you got to get that going and, and so that it, the GPS detects and, and sustains your your direction to get that uh, and this taxiway is not a 090 taxiway so I'm gonna have to come at it at an angle I should be on the big ramp to do this all right so let's taxi this way for a minute and see if I can get this down to 090 And we'll do the same thing for the other headings. I'm going to just uh, turn around up here, come back. Well, I tell you what, this thing just taxis so nice and smooth. A little bit to the left. Okay, now we try to get uh, 270 here. All right, let's taxi you up here. We'll take a left and get a 180 for the compass calibration, and hopefully this time it sticks. Currently, my magnetic track is 202. I need to get to the left to get to the 180. So I'm gonna go across this big ramp over here. This taxiway is just not wide enough for what I want to do. All right, let's try to go 180. Here we go, calibration complete. Hallelujah, save. Compass calibration and all configured SV8 hours, 
is complete. Press finish to store these calibrations and exit the setup menu. Thank you. That's right. Readjust. Readjust. There we go. Hallelujah. I am able to taxi with these doors open and that's so nice. I worried about that when I built these doors. At a nice, you know, moderate taxi speed and engine speed, you can have air conditioning. Okay, we got temps uh, all good. 141 on the oil temperature. Oil pressure's at 61, fuel pressure's at 31. That's unboosted with the engine pump. I've got uh, cylinder heads are all at 300. The highest is at 355. That's Mr. Number 5. I've got number 2 is at 290, and that makes sense because it's the first one that's out there. It's sticking out there pretty well. It's in the front, so... So all the numbers are looking good. Uh, get past these jets, I'm going to heat up those brakes. I'd hate to lose my brakes and bump into a Embraer. Okay. So I'm just going to ride them, give a little power here. about 1500 RPMs. Both brakes are engaged, dragging them along, getting them hot. Alright, that's probably pretty good. Let off on the brakes here. It's wanting a weather vane with that tail. Kill it. Let it roll. Pressure. All right, that's it. Got to get it inspected. Got a few things left to do. I've got gap seals to put together. Hopefully, we get that inspection soon, and we'll be flying. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, share with your friends, and I'll talk to you soon.